Hi, welcome back to my developer channel. My name is Srikan. In today's video, I'm going to talk about access scenarios in HANA 2.0 Access Advanced. Just a little introduction to this topic. In Access Advanced, we have got HDI container-based developments introduced. So these containers are completely isolated from others. So accessing objects inside the containers is not straightforward process. So in this video, I'm going to summarize the steps involved in getting uh, access to these container objects in very high level way. Okay, let's start the topic. So I'm going to show you a blog which explains this topic in very high level. So you can look for this topic in Google by typing in XSC DB access scenarios and you get the first hit uh, about the blog. So once you open the blog, so you can see that there are four different scenarios explained in this document. Uh, scenario one is about accessing classic DB in Access Advanced and scenario two, cross container access within a project and scenario three, cross container access over multiple projects. And the last one is accessing HDI container objects in classic DB the other way. So we're going to take a look at all these scenarios at very high level in this session. Okay, let's start with the scenario one, accessing classic DB in Access Advanced. This is a very common use case in many projects where your S4 HANA or BW4 HANA system is on top of HANA database. So in this diagram you can see that um, the classic DB is on left hand side and there is a XSA HDI container DB is on right hand side. Even though they both exist in the same HANA database platform, but they are completely isolated from one to the other. So accessing the objects inside the classic DB into Access Advanced is not a very straightforward process. So for that, we will need to follow certain steps and uh, we're going to look at those uh, steps in very high level in this video. Okay, let's start the steps. The first step is going to be creating custom user provided service, CUPS. So this service is to establish a connection between your classic database to HDI container DB. You can create this service either in access command line tools or in the web administration of access advanced administration cockpit. And the second step is going to be creating a database role in classic DB. So uh, we will need to have a, a role which defines the access to the schema objects in the classic database. And then the third step is going to be creating a HDB grantor file inside HDI administration. So this grantor file is going to have a combination of your cups plus your database role uh, to be granted to the container owner. At the execution of this step, uh, the container owner will get access to the database and also uh, with a specific uh, access which is defined in this role. And the next step is going to be uh, creating synonym um, for those objects in the classic DB. So just remember that uh, in order to create a synonym these three steps are mandatory uh, which are creating the service and granting the service and roles to this container owner. Then uh, you can establish the connection and then the synonyms can be created uh, thereafter. And then finally you can actually start using these synonyms in your modeling or ETL or any of the other objects inside the HDI container like any other local objects in XSA containers. Now let's take a look at these uh, different steps uh, how they look like in the system. So I'm going to access Web IDE for HANA on Google Cloud Platform HXE Express Edition platform. So I have a, a project here. Inside this project I have a DB container which is called EPM DB and this is a HDA container. And I'm going to need a classic database for that I installed um, S-Flight schema like it's any other ERP schema and I've got a bunch of tables inside the Splite schema. So now I'm going to create a role inside uh, Classic DB by using HANA Studio. This is the role I have created, Splite underscore DB access, which contains the access 
as described in step one, I also need the service to be created in order to and establish a connection to the classic database. So thus the service can be created in um, command line tools. So I already created the service. You can find uh, the service name here. This is a custom user provided service. So now I have a custom user provided service and I also have a DB role. So now the next step is going to be a HDB grants file to be created. And, and for that, I will go to my Web ID for HANA and then open my DB and then grants file. So you can see this is the grants file. So I'm giving the service name, which is the custom user provided service and the role which I created in the classic database. And I'm assigning these to object owner and application user both. Both, are, both users are HDI container users. Now everything is ready. Now the next step is going to be creating synonyms for that. So I can create the syn I already created the synonyms here and then I'm going to show you how these synonyms created. So I've created synonyms for three objects in classic database. And then these are S flight, S book and S P L AI. And I can use these objects as the local objects in modeling of inside the HDI containers, which I can show you from this place inside uh, the source module and CVs and in the CV, I used uh, some of these tables as the local objects to this container. Okay, so that's the process we use uh, in this scenario one. Okay, let's go to scenario two. In this scenario, it's about cross-container access within a project. So here, my use case is uh, having two different modules, HDI containers inside a project. So I'm not really going to access any classic database, but it is uh, within Access Advanced, I have two modules in a project, uh, which, which could be your staging module, DB module, and you could be your reporting or ETW module. So even accessing uh, an object from your staging module to uh, reporting our ETW container is not very straightforward. We still need, because they are completely isolated, we still need to follow the access uh, steps in this scenario as well. So let's take a look at those steps. The steps are very similar to the scenario one, but a little different to it. You can see from this diagram that the first step is going to be creating a service. So unlike to the scenario one, uh, creating a service is is by is 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 by default. It, as soon as we create the module of the source HDI container, it creates a service for us. And then the second step is to create the container role for the uh, HDI container staging. And then the third step is going to be combining the service plus uh, the container role uh, to be granted to the, the target container user. And then fourth step is going to be creating a synonym for those objects from the source container then we'll keep using them in modeling. So the steps look very similar. Only change is we don't need to create a service uh, explicitly like in scenario one because uh, within project, uh, the service is created default as soon as the HDI container module is uh, built. So let's take a, a look at the system uh, to explain this scenario. So I have uh, two modules inside the project one, so which is EPM DB as the first one, and then my reporting DB as the second one. So I'm going to access some of the objects which are in EPM DB into reporting DB. So for that, I just need to have the service as a dependent objects in the ML file configuration. So I'm going to access ML file and see for the reporting DB, I can see that EPM DB resource is required resource, which means it is a connection is established to uh, to the source HDI container. And then second thing is having a role inside EPM DB. So I'm going to have a take a look at the roles defined in EPM DB module. So you can see from the source folder and roles, there are a reader and reader grant role. So this is the role defined in the EPM DB HDI container. So now I, ha now I have service and I also have roles. So I will just grant the service plus the role to the uh, my in the target HDI container. 
So I'm going to go to target container and then go to configuration module and then take a look at the uh, HDB grants file. Then you can see that that's the service and that's the uh, reader role which I created in source container. And I'm granting this to object owner. So with that, uh, I'm able to establish the connection and also granted the full rights on the source container into the target container. Now I can start create synonyms on the source container objects and then keep using them inside my target container. Now let's talk about the scenario three. It's very similar to scenario two where um, it talks about cross container access over multiple projects. It's also completely within access advanced but the containers are in two different projects. So the process is going to be very similar to the scenario two where you create an external service and then create a role in the source container and then you grant that service plus role together to the target container owner and then create a synonym for the source objects and then use those synonyms as local objects inside the target container uh, modeling object. The little difference here is creating an external service is uh, to be done inside the DB module uh, maintenance. We can take a look at in the system how do we do that. I'm in uh, web ID for HANA. Now I have a project which is called central and inside central I have got a DB module called central MDM and I also uh, wanted to use this particular uh, DB module inside my reporting DB. So these two modules are not in one project. This is in project one and this is in a different project called central. So in order to establish the connection, I'm going to create something like a modeling action, create external HANA service. Not going to do that since I already created that. So this is something which we will do uh, uh, to establish the connection to HDA container which is in a different project and then once the service is being created and then next step is going to create the role uh, for uh, accessing the objects so you will have the roles defined in 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 here so that's the basic read role and I'm going to uh, combine the role and service together uh, in the HDB grants file in the target container and that will be granted to the target container objects and then I can start creating synonyms and then you can start using them. So the little difference is to in this scenario is to create an external service using modeling actions from the container. And lastly um, scenario four which is accessing HDA container objects in classic DB. This is completely opposite to the scenario one uh, which is uh, the other way of accessing the HDA container objects inside the DB, classic DB. Uh, in this scenario, uh, most of the activities we will be doing manually inside the administration console of HDA container, which are uh, creating a role and then grant that role using standard store procedures uh, to the classic DB user. I've already explained this topic in very detail uh, video of this series so I'm going to put that link uh, and as, a, as a, an attachment to this video so that you can navigate to the detailed steps for that. So that's how these different scenarios are handled in Access Advanced uh, accessing the DB uh, to Access Advanced HDA container based objects. Uh, that's all for this session and I hope it is very helpful. Uh, thanks for listening. For detail uh, training on this topic, please reach out to my email ID, srampaliyes at gmail.com. Thank you.